Namaste Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish girl. I see the God in you. Let's tap in and see what you need to know right now from your higher self. Yes. What do you need to know? Oh, okay. You made the right decision. You are on the right path. It is time for you to walk away. Moving forward is your wish fulfillment. You deserve to have and experience your heart's desires. If you've been feeling like, should I stay or should I go? So then you decide to go. It's going to be the best thing for you. Because where you are, it's just not your home. It's not your place. It's not where you're meant to be. Let me know where you have your Sagittarius placements in your chart. Could be in your Mercury. Could be in your NC. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay? It's just time for you to go. I'm really getting strong. Sagittarius in the second house. But you do have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through this reading. It is time to go. And you might be feeling bad about this. You might be feeling quite selfish about this decision. But at the end of the day, it's time for you to create your own path, to, to rewrite your own story, okay? You have been so worried about time and so worried about missing out. FOMO is coming through here for some of you, but it's like you didn't miss out on anything. You will if you don't leave. You will miss out on this opportunity if you don't leave now, okay? That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing it really strong. There's so much fear coming through, crippling you, making you feel like, oh my goodness. What are people going to think about me? What are people going to say about me if I do this? You care so much about what people think about you that you put your life on hold to the point that you're going to get stuck. Now, I usually don't say mean things like this, but sometimes, like, readings, it is what it is. You know, it reminds me of the Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, it's like, don't look back. But then you look back, and that's a horrible decision. You're going to make the wrong decision if you look back. If you look back, that's not a wise decision. It's time for you to move forward. Unbelievable amount of... <laughs> Support coming through from the universe for you in this reading. They're trying to tell you so hard in so many ways. You have more than enough time, but you need to act now. You need to let go now. Definitely. Oh my goodness. You're literally with this tower. Yeah. Maybe for some of you, this already happened. You dodged a bullet. You, you cannot care what your peers think. You cannot care what the people from your neighborhood. You can't care about what your cousins or your family. You cannot think about what anyone has to say right now because your time is on the line. This is a life-changing vibrational frequency that's taking place in your life. And it's like, if you've been trying to be in control, it's like, yes, you are. But if your control means that your life is going downhill that's not right you're meant to be in this king of pentacles energy you're meant to be a help to your family a help to your friends an inspiration to the community okay you're meant to be successful you are not to be stuck in depression lack paucity unhappiness okay you're meant to provide and that is what you will do I'm hearing that so strongly once you make this decision. Why am I hearing feel sorry for yourself? Some of you literally, and you know it, just, just keep it real. It's like, oh, that happened to me. Oh, this happened to me. You are the one that is creating your reality. You're co-creating your reality. Five of Pentacles here. Yeah. 
How can you save somebody else if you can't save yourself? It's like you've been saving so many people. It's like you put your own self in debt. You put your your you gave yourself a, your your I know an S setback, and it's like how is this happening? Because I'm the most optimistic person I know. I'm so optimistic. I'm so healing. How is this happening to me? Because you cannot love someone else before you love yourself. You are being guided to love yourself unconditionally and be optimistic about your decisions to cut someone off. Definitely you have. Hey, I'm all for it. Look at that. Look at this Emperor energy. Aries energy coming through. Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Yeah. It's not happening, Captain. Point blank, period. You are taking back control of your life. And this could have to do with some sort of entrepreneur endeavor. Maybe you are deciding to be your own boss, start your own company, go your own way. I'm hearing that it's going to be successful. The timing of when you leave a job plays a major part in this, in this level of success. Trust your intuition when you feel like, oh, okay, it's time for me to leave. It's time for me to give up on something, right? Just don't give up on yourself is what I'm hearing. Do not give up on yourself. For the first time, I feel like in, in a long time, you are going to feel like you're being seen and you're being accepted and you're being loved. I respect it. Respect is coming through really strong. Okay. Um, yeah, because... You are choosing to be happy. You understand that happiness is a choice. You get it. You're like, happiness is a choice. If I'm not happy, if oh, I cannot with the choice here. Look at this. Look at this, lovers. What? Really strong Gemini energy coming through. Your choices are impeccable. Your timing is impeccable. When you're like, this isn't working, I need to move forward, that's when you're going to find your success. Trust your intuition and you know what is best for you. Use your gift of gap. Use that level of intellect, that leadership ability that you have. You literally have, with this, this tarot combination right here, you have all of the ambition that you need to make something happen. You've overcome sadness, depression, and also being confused, wavering between like, what's next? What should I do next? What choice should I make? You know that you are the ultimate creator of your reality. You're creating the best life by making the best decisions at the right time. Okay, so do not look back. Do not look back is what I'm hearing. Bottom of the deck. This is going to be a life-changing experience for you. This is going to be life-changing for experience for your friends and for your family because it really does have a lot to do with manifestation and choosing your thoughts wisely, okay? You could be in this fixed state where it's like you're making all of these lists, all of those lists, all of that, what is that, your your vision board that you created is, is being manifested right before your eyes within, within seconds, okay? So if, if you have not experienced this, this is what's coming into your reality. This is what is being manifested into your reality with this Jupiterian energy, with this Will of Fortune, Leo, um, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, all right? Energy coming through, definitely the ultimate self-fulfillment, the ultimate love, the ultimate self-love, the ultimate achievement. You, you're, you're being guided not to tell anybody about this because, you know, it's like if you do talk about this, this new love, this could definitely be a new love that's coming in. Whatever this is, it's going to be emotionally fulfilling and you're being guided to just kind of keep it to yourself at the moment because... You know, <laughs> this is not for everyone. No one's getting this special treatment. So you're definitely getting this, this special special treatment from the universe, um, this, this special treatment from the spirit realm. And it's because you have figured out how to, to like put yourself first, okay? That's the wave, that's the vibe, that's the frequency, that's the energy. 
Namaste, Sagittarius. I'll see you soon in your next reading. Until then, peace and love.